and welcome to Disney and Beyond, your one-stop shop for all things Disney and pop culture. Today, this little beauty turned up. It's my monthly Tokyo Treat subscription box. For those that don't know, Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription from Japan. Uh, it comes in three different sizes, premium, regular and small. The premium is $34.99. The regular is $24.99 and the small is $14.99. I get the premium box that comes with every item. Um, you get a few extra items depending on the size of the box. And the premium item also comes with a general novelty item. Sometimes it's anime, sometimes it's a traditional Japanese item. Um, I know there was a few things teased online. I won't say what they were. But uh, I think we should uh, probably get started. Okay, so I've opened the box up and as you can see, it is a very, very well packed box this month. Uh, it looks like it's overflowing to the brim uh, with items, so I reckon we should start taking a look. Let's get the book out, and we will go to the page, because I can speak a little bit of Japanese, but reading it, no chance. Not yet. I've only been learning for a couple of months, so um, I require the book. Uh, the theme this month, I do believe, what does the theme say on the front of this booklet? I do believe it is the theme of Asian Summer Festival. So we've got some summery flavours. Right, let's get the first item out. That is the traditional item. Here we go. I'll hold that up to the camera. That is a fan. So we've got a nice little traditional Japanese Asian fan there. Let's take it out the packet and uh, unfold that. As I say, the premium box is the only level of box where you get the novelty item. Um, as I say, sometimes they're uh, anime, sometimes they're traditional items. As of yet, I've not had chopsticks, which I am quite surprised about. Fair anyone is a food box. But here is the fan, unraveled. My trusted assistant here is doing that, and there's the fan. Quite a nice fan, looks nice and sturdy and uh, well made. I obviously probably won't use this myself, um, but I will give it to my sister, probably. She'll have that, she likes a fan. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little item to have. Um, nice little something different to the... Um, what's it? I'll, I'll read what it says. It's a Japanese hand fan. Keep cool this summer with the Japanese hand fan, included in this month's box. The stylish fans come in four traditional Japanese prints. Which of the four cool designs did you get? Well, I got the black one. There was also a white one, a blue one. And a, a silvery kind of blue colour. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what fan you got in your box. Okay, let's go for the next next item. The next item is this little box here. We've had something similar to these before. Uh, I, that is the Chocobee melon flavour. We've had Chocobees before. Um, I think they were just normal chocolate flavoured ones before. Um, it's Crayon Shinchan's favourite snack. Chocobee in a summer limited melon flavour. The cute star-shaped snack is enjoyable at room temperature or chilled for an extra summery flair. Each box includes a collectible Shinchan sticker and a mini maze on the lid to have fun with. And if we hold that up to the camera, we can see the little mini maze on top. If you have focus on there, you ain't just about to see that on camera. Um, yeah. I like melon flavour. We've had a lot of melon sweets lately because that is obviously a summery Japanese flavour. Um, I will probably enjoy those. I like that kind of stuff. Shin-chan is a, is a cool little anime character for those that don't know. Um, yeah, looking forward to trying those. Next item. We have... Ah, we've had caramel corn before. I absolutely love caramel corn. Um, we had soy sauce flavour. And I've also had peanut butter flavour um, caramel corn. These 
and I made it out to you, caramel called cream soda flavour. Inspired by the popular Japanese drink, melon cream soda. To Haito Caramel Corn released a fun limited edition flavour that comes in a cute and summery package. A popular snack with our subscribers, this caramel corn flavour combines a refreshing fizzy soda sensation in the mouth with an airy corn puff texture with a distinct sweetness of melon cream soda. Okay, so that's going to be different. Uh, Caramel corn, I suppose the UK equivalent of that would be something like uh, What's It. Obviously, What's It's a predominantly cheesy flavour, but you can get other flavours. But caramel corn is that the What's It is the closest that I can think of. And I can't imagine a fizzy What's It. Um, texture wise, they're very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, a fizzy What's It, a fizzy corn crisp. I would try them on camera for you, but I take forever to eat anything. Um, and you'd be very, very bored by the time I finish. Um, but I will let you know what they taste like. Um, because in my head, it's not going to be great. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. I'm, I'm always up for trying these things. Right, let's get the next item out. The next item is... Aha! We have here... Let me see that on camera. Some Mitsuya Mandarin Orange Gummies. Uh, popular classic Japanese soda, Mitsuya Cider released gummies in a juicy mandarin orange flavour that's perfect for the summer. Enjoy the refreshing taste of Mitsuya Cider with the addition of sweet mandarin oranges sourced from Ehime Prefecture that give these gummies an extra burst of juicy flavour. Well, they sound very nice. Um, I like orange flavoured stuff. Um, gummies can sometimes be nice, can sometimes be a bit boring. Um, I'm 50-50 on the gummies. I, I prefer kind of savoury stuff or um, chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate. Um, but yeah, no, well, that, that actually sounds quite nice. Um, I don't actually know where Ihibo Prefecture is. Um, so that would be interesting. Um, it's obviously a flavour that's local to that area. So yeah, I look forward to trying those. Next item. We will save the Daigashi bag to the last. Because that has lots of random items. Uh, this is the Calypis Pineapple Gummies. So we've got some more gummies, two different flavour gummies. Uh, popular culture drink maker Calypis released new gummies in a juicy and tropical pineapple flavour. Enjoy the combination of refreshing pineapple and the signature Calpis drink. Calpis drink. Calpis? Calpis drink. Uh, I can't even read today. Calpis drink. Uh, where are they? Flavours in these gummies. The gummies come in a cute star shape and have a sweet sauce in the middle, which adds to the gummy experience. A lot of Japanese sweets do tend to have kind of a sauce or a, a cream or a... Um, syrup in the middle so they'll probably actually be quite nice i do like pineapple flavored stuff big fan of pineapple stuff um so yeah calpis pineapple gummies two lots of gummies this month that'll give me plenty to chew on while i'm writing okay next item that's my dash bag we'll leave that to last this what is this what is this ah right okay Choco Bar Z, white chocolate. A perfect snack for when you're on the go and want to have a little something. This corn puff snack is highly addictive. Each stick is soaked in rich white chocolate to ensure that you get the tasty combination of sweet white chocolate and light corn puff with every bite. Yeah, that's different. Um... Okay, that's uh Okay, I thought what's it with cream soda or weird? What's it a giant what's it with white chocolate? Hmm Yeah, I think my face probably sums that one up quite nicely. That's gonna be different. I'm probably gonna definitely be reporting back to you guys on that one. Moving on, next item. Uh we have 
Aha! This is a traditional Wadyashi. Uh, each one you get in the premium box, and in the regular box you get what they call a Wagashi. In Japan, a Wagashi is usually a traditional Japanese snack. Um, we've had several different Wagashis. There's even a very popular Japanese manga um, all about Wagashi, but I've never read it, but apparently the main character tries out different Wagashi each episode. Um, I think it's called Wagashi Kashi or something. Google it. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Nigata Chewy Senbei. Usually baked, grilled or fried to give a really crunchy texture. This time we bring you a completely different type of Japanese rice cracker. That, that is either dry or hard. Originally released in 2005, Nigata Chewy Senbei is a unique type of rice cracker that is saturated in a delicious, savoury, sweet soy sauce right after it is baked to give it a dry, chewy texture. What do you think of this new type of rice cracker? Okay, well I think it sounds okay. I like soy sauce. I like rice crackers. It's going to be interesting in a chewy rice cracker. Um, it's certainly going to be different. It's not something I've personally tried. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like a pancake on the packet, if I'm honest. Um, it's going to be different, it's going to be interesting. As I say, I like soy sauce, I like rice crackers. Can't you go wrong there, I suppose? Interesting. Right, next item. Okay, uh, what have we got here? What is this? Oh, this looks really interesting. Okay, uh, just read what it is. Corn pottage snack. Back by popular demand, we bring you a uniquely flavoured corn puff snack. The combination of the light and airy texture with a slightly sweet but savoury Japanese corn soup. Flavour makes this a highly addictive and popular snack. I'm not a big fan of sweet corn. I can't imagine eating corn in, I'm not a big fan of soup. Full stop. I can't imagine eating corn in a soup. Let alone a soup corn crisp snack mashup thing. Object. Tasty morsel. Yeah. Um, this is a very different box this month. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm intrigued by it. Um, I'm not sure my stomach is going to like it. Um, but if I will say one thing, the Japanese know how to snack. Um, right, next item. The yeah, aha! Uh -huh. Okay, also in the premium box each month, you also get a DIY candy. Uh, that's basically a, a sweet or pudding that you, you make yourself. Hence the title, DIY. Uh, this one is Dinosaur Island Pudding. Brought to you by the creators of the popular Shin Chan Butt Pudding, which I still have yet to make. Uh, this month we've included the easy to make Dinosaur Island Pudding. A DIY snack can be made simply with the addition of milk. A tasty strawberry sauce and fine dinosaur toothpicks are included in this fun photogenic DIY snack. Well, I recently bought some lenses for my camera, so once I have made that, I will make sure I get some pictures and post them on Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter at DisneyBeyond1. So, I will do that, I will make that, and I will take some pictures. If you want to see those pictures, come and follow us over on Twitter. Um, yeah, I like doing DIY candies, um, it's actually quite fun as an adult sitting there, getting into a mess with food, um, yeah, they're usually really simple, the instructions are in the booklet, so you don't have to worry about trying to read Japanese, unless you're me and you accidentally throw the booklet away before you've made the DIY candy, which is why I still haven't done the Shin-chan, so if anyone knows how to make the Shin-chan, um, DIY pudding, please do let me know. Uh, but yeah, I, as I say, that sounds really nice. Um, some sauce. 
Can't go wrong with that. There you go. Right, next item. Next up, we have the Piccola Mango Yogurt. Piccola is a stick type cookie with a swirl of different flavour needed into each stick. This time we bring you the mango variety, which has Alfonso mango and yogurt powder kneaded into the sticks for a delightful, delightfully summery snack. Yeah, I've heard of Piccolo actually. I think we might actually do these in the UK. And if we don't do this particular brand, we definitely do something similar. Um, I'm sure I've heard of Piccolo um, sticks before. Um, again, Mango, very nice flavour. I like mango stuff. I like mango flavoured sweets. So these should be really nice. They look really nice. They sound really nice. So I'm actually probably really looking forward to that one. Okay, next item. We'll get into the bottom now. We're almost at the end. Got a few more items to go. These are Pretz. This is in the small box. This is part of the, uh, the small uh, box of stuff. Super thin pretz, edamame flavour. I can never really say that. I don't know if it's pronounced. I think it's pronounced edamame. Uh, Pocky's savoury counterpart, pretz, released a new mouth watering edamame bean flavour in a super thin variety. These pretz have actual edamame kneaded into each stick to give the popular snack an extra savoury and fresh lagoon flavour. There are about 100 sticks in each bag, so enjoy sharing with your friends and family. I've had Pocky, I've had lots of Pocky flavours. Um, I've never tried Pretz. I imagine it's kind of like a pretzel stick. Um, hence the title Pretz. I have heard of them. Uh, I have had Edamame flavoured stuff. We had Edamame flavoured corn stack uh, in a previous box. Um, I think that was in my box that I got before I started doing unboxing videos. Um, yeah, so they were nice. So, and I like Pocky. So, I imagine these will be, be okay. These will be alright. These will be quite nice. Um, it's kind of odd eating a bean crisp because it does actually taste like the bean itself. Um, so, yeah, that would be interesting. I, I don't mind that and I'm looking forward to that. Okay, right, next item. This is another item from the small box. Uh, bake a limited edition coriander flavour. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, love coriander? Not particularly. Uh, now you can enjoy the flavour and aroma of the refreshing herb with Bake's limited edition flavour. The summery non-melting chocolate Combines a refreshing coriander flavour with dark chocolate for a unique Japanese chocolate experience. Now, earlier in this video, I said I like chocolate. I'm not sure I'm going to like chocolate mixed with coriander. In my wildest dreams, I would never even imagine mixing coriander with chocolate. Um, it's going to be an experience. It's not melting chocolate, so it's not going to melt in the heat. Um, yeah, that's um, different is one word to describe it. Um, there are several other words I, I could use to describe whoever came up with that bright idea. Um, but yeah, um, Coriander to chocolate. It's not all you can say about that, really. So let's move on to the next item. Well, I say it's not a lot for what you can say about it. Um, right, this is the drink. Every month you get a drink. And the premium box as well. So the premium box, you really do get your money's worth. It really is worth it. Um, you get a lot of items that you don't get in the other boxes. Um, plus what you get in the other boxes. So yeah, it really is worth it. This is the Kirin World Kitchen's Salty Lychee Drink. The popular Kirin's World Kitchen franchise is celebrating their 10th anniversary this year and we've included their most popular salty lychee drink. The refreshing drink combines grapefruit, grape and lychee juice and Okinawan salt to create a super refreshing and hydrating drink. Perfect for hot summer days, 
Enjoy it cold or frozen for best flavour. Enjoy it cold or frozen. I was actually typed that twice and I actually read it twice. Um, yeah, so, salty lychee drink. Yeah. That's, I've never tried lychee, so I can't really comment on that. Um, I can't imagine a salty drink um, being particularly refreshing. But, you know, I like grapefruit. Um, I'd say I've never tried lychee, so... Um, I can't imagine it's a bad flavour. Um, it's probably quite nice, probably quite refreshing. Um, as I say, I've never had it, so that's going to be an experience. The only thing that kind of puts me off a little bit is the fact that it's salted. I don't know if it's salt in a drink. On chips, but not a drink. But anyway, let's give it a try. Okay, well, the next up is the. Uh, the only thing that's left is a Daigashi bag now. A Daigashi bag, actually, I got it wrong earlier. It's not Wagashi that's the manga. It's the Daigashi. It's Daigashi Kashi. Now, Daigashi are kind of, uh, in the UK, we have like 10 piece sweets, um, 20 piece sweets, um, things like that. Um, and this is like a similar sort of thing. It's, it's cheap corner shop kind of stack. Um, and in there you get four items, um, or five, sometimes five. And it says, enjoy the combination of four random Daigashi sacks and one of my bow that will be included in your box every month. Now, I love the Amoyan bows. The Amoyan bows are out of this world. They're full of flavour. They're just a single giant corn puff full of flavoury goodness. Um, I won't open up the Daigashi bag because, as I say, I have no idea what the items actually are. And so I try, we can quickly have a quick look. Let's have a tiny quick look at that. We've got the Amoibo there. Uh, it looks like there could be some uh, hard boiled sweets. Uh, there's the Amoibo. Not sure what flavour that is. Can't really work it out from the packet. So these are always a nice surprise when you bite into them. Um, these we've had before. These are like little crisp sweets. Not sure if they say a flavour, let me have a look at that packet. Uh, no, it's all in Japanese. I, we, I have, I recognise the packet, so I think I've probably had them before. Um, well, I can remember they're little, like, crispy sacks. Um, this is something, let's take a look at that. That could be... Well, they look like squid. What? That... It's going to be interesting. I'm not entirely sure what they are. They're kind of looking through the packet. They look like they've got the same sort of texture to a uh, cheesy square crisp. Um, I doubt they're cheese flavour. Um, but yeah, they look like they've got kind of similar consistency to that. Um, but I don't know until I open it. And uh, these look like just... Uh, the next one is just kind of hard-boiled. Uh, I think maybe orangey or... or Melly or something like that flavour. Not really sure. And say the Nagashi bag is always a nice little mystery, you don't know what the flavours are, unless you speak Japanese and can read the writing. And the last one by the looks of it is a lollipop. Uh, looks like some sort of maybe a grape lollipop or something like that. Uh, it's perfectly colour, that usually signifies grape or something along that line. So yeah, so that's the Nagashi bag and that was the final item in the box. That is a massively packed box. There is so much in here this month. Um, I'm really impressed with the amount of stuff. And it's not small items, it's like large items with lots in them. Um, the caramel corn bags are always stuffed to the brim. Um, they, they last forever because I, I never eat a whole packet in one. Um, but yeah, that is Tokyo Treat for the month of August, and uh, I am going to really look forward to eating some of this. A lot of it is going to be um, very, very different for me. It's a lot of flavours and things that I've never in a million years tried, or would even consider trying if I hadn't been like giving it as a, as a mystery box. So yeah, I love getting my Tokyo treat box every month. Uh, I think it's well worth the price. Um, the guys over at Tokyo Tree are really nice as well. 
really helpful if there's a problem or an issue. Um, so yeah, this is this is okay treat. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button because it really does help you out, and it is very very much appreciated. Um, if you don't want uh, if you want, don't want to miss any more uh, Disney and Beyond content, you like what we're doing here, please do hit that subscribe button. And again, much appreciated and really does help the channel grow. Um, I'll leave all the links down in the uh, section below in the description so you can get your, you can check out Tokyo Treat for yourself and all the links to social media and the blog. Um, feel free to leave any comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what item you would like out of this box. I think my pick for this box is probably going to be the Piccola uh, sticks because they do sound really, really nice. Um, but yeah, let me know what, what you guys, if you get Tokyo Treat, let me know what you enjoyed from the box. Um, I'm always up for disgusting things. So that's it from us. Uh, until next time, to infinity and...